Westworld Season 3, Episode 3, The Absence of Field was an excellent entry into the series, but it also had the noticed absence of a fan-favorite character, William the Man in Black. Today, I'm going to break down the trailer for Westworld Season 3, Episode 4, titled The Mother of Exiles, discussing what would seemingly be a William-centric episode. The trailer has a very specific conversation going on between William and Dolores, where Dolores is making William question his reality and who he is. Dolores says, I guess there is some justice after all. You're a prisoner of your own sins. You still don't understand who you are, and to which William replies, I know who I am. This seems to be happening while overlooking the structure that could be linked to the mental hospital or prison that William is in. I believe that this structure could be connected to the one Charlotte Hale is standing in front of in this shot in Episode 3, The Absence of Field. It's one of the most beautiful shots in the episode, and it's interesting because it looks like Charlotte herself is within the center of that eye. The structure is reflecting into the water simulating a mirror image of itself with the line in the middle. And I can't help but think what we're seeing here is the existence of the real world and the mirror world or the simulation. We've already seen evidence of Westworld presenting us with two separate worlds, and the dialogue from the post credit scene of Season 2 with William and Emily after the finale seems to suggest that William is not in a simulation at that specific point in time. But Emily does tell William that most of his world was destroyed during some sort of extinction-level event. In this shot of the trailer, I believe we're seeing whoever witnessed the Divergence event in Paris in 2025. This could be a young Serac, and witnessing such an event would be a good motivation to build Solomon to control humans and prevent future divergences. So far, there is not much information about Serac's backstory, as Serac does not meet people face to face aside from Maeve, who still may be inside a simulation. But I believe Serac is an anagram in French for Solomon et Rehoboam, auteur et créateur. A is the French version of Anne, so if we read this backwards in English, it's creator, author, Rehoboam, and Solomon, or Serac the creator and author of Rehoboam and Solomon. In the same trailer that showed us the 2025 parents' divergence, we have Vincent Castle's voice narrating the words of history has an author and a system. This is all happening while revealing that Solomon this system was initiated at an undisclosed location in 2039. We know that Liam's father built Solomon, who we know shares a connection to Dolores as they briefly dated. But I think Solomon actually built most of Rehoboam itself, and Serac could possibly be the human identity that the machine co-opted. So we could see a scenario where Serac thought he built the machine but didn't, and may not even know that he's not human depending on how he communicates with Rehoboam. I actually really enjoy the idea of William being responsible for the bomb we see in the trailer. It would be interesting if he was responsible for it like in a way that no one ever traced it back to him, and that being what made him go into philanthropy under the guise of it being because he came from humble roots. If this is the case, both he and Dolores would be responsible for big divergences listed in the date announced 2020 trailer. I do think there's a strong possibility that he is in a simulation or the other world. William is shown re-experiencing his wife Juliet's suicide in the bathtub, and instead of Juliet, William is in the tub. This is either a suicide attempt, or he is experiencing this inside a simulation. Now, if Dolores, who appears to be speaking to him, is controlling the simulation and feels that William is not sympathetic, she is likely to make him relive his worst moments, just like she did to the Delos Mega Investor Thomas Kreshman in Season 3, Episode 1, Power to Dominate. This would be an absolutely savage way to get some revenge, and could connect to what she's saying at the start of the trailer in that you're a prisoner of your own sins. Though it could be more literal, it could also just be him attempting suicide, which is what lands him in some sort of psychiatric hospital. In this shot here with Dolores, he looks like he's wearing some sort of straitjacket that's unbuckled. And we don't know whether anyone knows whether he's killed his daughter. Now, if Serac is controlling the simulation, he may be looking for information about Dolores the same way he was looking for the location of the satellite using a simulation to manipulate Maeve. If Insight didn't get this access to the book with the date they already got from Delos, they may only know the good side of William. If Insight does have the data from Delos, they're definitely using the simulation to fuck with him because they know he is fixated on Dolores. 
If that's the case, we have to ask the question, is William a blind spot for Dolores, making William the honeypot to draw Dolores in to try to capture or kill her? Which makes the title of the last episode so interesting, The Absence of Few. Not only do we have the absence of William, but that last episode showed us that where you are is not the thing that otherwise would be there. In Mark Strand's poem, Keeping Things Whole, he talks about two specific things, the part and the whole. What interestingly enough connects to the story we see Dolores tell Caleb that his whole life path is simulated by Rehoboam and that he's caged within his path. This scene is one of my favorites of the series for a few different reasons, not only because it connects to the narrative that has been so prevalent in the show of the idea of free will and if it truly exists, but also because it's clearly laying out the main theme that's going to be highlighted in season 3 of determinism versus free will. Which is why I think Dolores might actually fall for Caleb, actually fall in love with him for the exact same reason William fell obsessively in love with Dolores. After rewatching episode 3, I feel that Caleb is a human mirror to Dolores, the same way that Dolores was a mirror for William. He is experiencing with his mother the same thing as she experienced with her father Peter Abernathy. He essentially has robot schizophrenia, and Dolores was also put on a loop by Arnold where she was forced to kill herself as she revisits the place on her journey through the maze, picturing herself dead over and over again. This connects to what's happening with Caleb, just like Caleb contemplating suicide repeatedly at the pier. He has PTSD and we see him experiencing flashes the same way that Dolores was having memory flashbacks as she navigated the maze. Now, perhaps the hidden trailer was not a misdirect and we will get a legit Dolores falling for Caleb's story, rather than her manipulating Caleb for her own ends. Caleb might not be the one to fall first, he might just have a hero complex, which is one of the main things Dolores loved about William. I think we will also see Dolores welcoming William to the end of the game, which refers in many ways to William's goal of burning this place to the ground, as he says to Lawrence. This could point to Dolores trying to leverage William's disdain for the project happening at the forge and weaponize him against Insight. I actually think she might try to recruit him as there is a 50-50 chance he will be sympathetic to her cause. Whether this is right or wrong, episode 3 certainly has left us with a lot to ponder. But what are you pondering about episode 4, The Mother of Exiles? Are you excited to see the return of William? And what do you think the promo trailer is spoiling for the next episode? Let me know your thoughts, your theories, and tinfoil in the comment section. I will be doing a more in-depth preview tomorrow on the episode, talking about the episode title and some of the other things I didn't talk about in this video. So if you did enjoy this video and you want to see more Westworld content, feel free to subscribe to the channel. I'd also like to give a shout out to Bunny for helping with this video. She's a huge Westworld fan like myself and most of you who love Westworld content. So if you like to chat Westworld, feel free to message Bunny on Reddit. It's at Bunnies and Cookies. I'm going to put the link in the description of the video if you want to go chat with her about awesome Westworld theories. I look forward to seeing all of your awesome thoughts, theories, and tinfoil in the comments section. And yeah, feel free to suggest video topics you would like to see on the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Type in love.